sketch the graph of y equals 3x plus 6, identify the intercepts, domain, and range of the function. So we have two techniques that we could do to graph this. We could do a big table of values and find it that way. Or we could graph the inside function first and then flip whatever's negative to be positive. So I'll show you both techniques so you can decide which you like better. Method one, table of values. So we put in some values of x. One of the things we for sure want to find is where is it equal to 0? In other words, where is the x-intercept? So through doing a bunch of values, you might eventually find out that if you plug in negative 2, you're going to get 0. That is your x-intercept. And the definition we learned that our x-intercept is a critical point for an absolute value function. If you plug in some other numbers like negative 1, negative 1 for x, negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3, absolute value of positive 3 would be 3. If I plug in 0, that's often one that's easy to plug in, 0 plus 6 will be 6. If I plug in negative 3, Negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3, but the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. And if I plugged in negative 4, I would get negative 12 plus 6, which is negative 6. The absolute value of negative 6 would be positive 6. So once you've got a number of values, you can start to graph. Again, we needed to find that x-intercept because that was a critical point negative 2 comma 0. I can plug in my other points. Negative 1 comma 3. Negative 3 comma 3, 0 comma 6. And negative 4 comma 6. Label some points so that you have a scale for your x-axis and your y-axis, and we would be done. So method one is finding a table of values. You'll want to find some of your table of values to the right of your critical point and some of your table of values to your left of your critical point. So I did a bunch of mental math to just to determine that negative 2, 0 is my critical point first, and then I did some on both sides. If you don't find that critical point, then it gets a little bit more difficult. You might have to do more than just five points. Method number two. We graph the inside function first, and then we reflect. So in our question, the inside function was 3x plus 6. That's a line. You know how to graph lines. It would have a y-intercept at 0, 6. You'd have down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1. So you use your skills at graphing lines to graph the line first. And then, 
you take wherever the y values are negative, they're going to get reflected over the x-axis because the absolute value takes negative y values and makes them positive. So we're still going to have 0, 6. We're still going to have negative 1, 3, and we're still going to have 2, 0. But now instead of having negative 3, 3, when this gets flipped up, the y value is going to become positive and we'll have negative 3 comma positive 3. So I take this section of my graph that's negative, I flip it up over the x-axis. This part stays the same, this part gets flipped up and I have my new graph. So from our graph, this question says, can you state your y-intercept? Well, it's at 6. My x-intercept, it's at negative 2. What's my domain? <coughs> my domain of my absolute value is still everything, but my range is bigger than or equal to 0. All right, questions for practice. 4, 5A, 6, 7A, and 10A and B.